In the last video, we looked at arc length, and uh, here we're going to look at the area of a sector. So, just as a reminder, this here is called this from the last video. This is called the central angle, which we denote with the symbol theta. That's our radius. All right. Now, a sector, a sector is. is this piece of pie-shaped region. It's this all in here. So this all ha this has area, right? The whole circle has area. But our goal is to figure out what the area of this sort of slice of pizza is. So that's going to be our, that's our goal. OK, that's the sector. So our goal is to find find the area of a sector. So um, it's this. You'll notice that this logic follows very much uh, the logic that we did in the video on arc length. Okay, uh, I have here down here. I have a circle with the radius equal to 12 and a central angle equal to 120 degrees. And what we want to find is the length of the arc or the area. I'm sorry, the area of the sector. We want to find the area of that region there. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, let's recall what we know about the area of an entire circle. So recall that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, pi times the radius squared. Now, in this case, that's equal to pi times 12 squared, which is 144 pi. So that is the area of the entire circle. So the question is, this sector, how much of that area is taken up by this sector? Now, hopefully, you get the sense, I mean, if you were just going to eyeball it, you would say, oh, it looks like it's about like a third of the area, right? Like maybe three of these sectors fill into the whole circle. So maybe like one third of this 144 pi would be that area. And if you guess that, you'd be right. And if you stop, if you pause for a moment and, and think about why your intuitions are right, hopefully you see that it, it boils down to, that's just my phone, sorry, um, that it boils down to the fact that that central angle is 120 degrees. And just like we looked at in the video for arc length, we can use this central angle to figure out what fraction of the entire area this sector is taking up. Okay, so what I mean by that is the area of this sector is, well, it's it's 1 20th, 1 20, 3 60th of the area of the entire circle. So it's 1 20, 3 60th times the area of our whole circle, which we know is 144. Pi. All right. So again, we use that central angle to tell us the fraction, the fraction of the area that this sector is taking up. So 120 over 360 is equal to the area of this sector divided by the area of the entire circle. Okay. So, and again, we can, you can go right and punch this into your calculator, but sometimes I like to make it look a little nicer. The zeros divide. And 12 divided by 36 is just equal to a third, right? That's just 1 divided by 3. 12 goes into 12 once, into 36 three times. OK, so I mean, you're welcome to leave your answers like this, because it's exact. 144 times 1, 3 times 1, 144 over pi over 3. Uh, or you can go put in the calculator if you'd like. One hundred and fifty point eight 
Um, okay, so again, that central angle is telling us the fraction, is helping us determine the fraction of the entire area that that sector is taking up, just like the central angle told us the fraction of the uh, arc of the arc length or the length of the circumference that that arc length was taking up. So we can do. Let's just get down a quick uh, second example for you to follow. Here's a central angle, and let's just uh, pick a. Let's just pick like. Let's pretend it's 50 degrees. So that central angle is 50 degrees. And let's say the radius here is um, 15. And let's use some units here. How about that's 15 centimeters? OK, so what would the area of this sector be? Area of that sector there. Well, it's going to equal. We're going to multiply times the area of the entire circle. Whatever fraction of the area that this sector is taking up. Well, the area of the entire circle is pi times r squared, which is 15 squared. And what fraction of the area is this sector taking up? It's taking up 50, 360ths of it. Fifty three hundred sixtieths. So again, I can cross those off. See, this is five over thirty six, and fifteen times fifteen, I believe, is two hundred and twenty five. Okay, so we can go take care of that. Five divided by thirty six times two hundred and twenty five times pi. 98.17 and let's be careful of units we're measuring area the radius was given centimeters so this is centimeters squared all right so let's jot down our formula follows the exact same logic that our formula for our area of an arc uh, for a length of an arc followed. And that is that the area is our central angle divided by 360. That gives us the fraction of the total area times the area of the circle, which we know to be pi r squared. I'm not happy with that line. I'm happy with that one. There we go. So now we got a formula for area of a sector and length of an arc. And um, I'm hoping that this experience of watching it, if you ever forget those formulas, you can at least re, uh, re-derive them yourself because it should be pretty intuitive. This It all depends on that theta over 360, giving us the fraction of the total, the total area in this, in this case.